All right. And สวัสดีค่ะ Thank สวัสดีค่ะ Hello guys. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. And also thank you for g o s i k a to giving me this opportunity. My name is uh, Supatha, or my nickname is Pop. You can call me Pop. Well, um, let's today we we have a little chat about Thai language. And a little bit before, uh, a little bit about me. Uh, I am from Thailand. I am currently living in Bangkok. Uh, my uh native speak. I I am a Thai native speaker, and I also study English as a second language. And I'm have been studying Japanese in high school. It's almost ten years. It's more than ten year now. And also, I have an opportunity to study basic Korean, French, and Malaysian as well. Uh, for work experience, I used to tutor Japanese for Thai students in the university, and I also used to teach Thai and English to the foreigners. Uh, as well. Uh, currently, I am not working in educational field, but I am also still working, still using English and Japanese for my corporate job in Bangkok. Okay, and for the overview of today presentation, um, you know, as a, I, I just want to share, uh, you guys about something in Thai language that I. Uh, I found really interesting. So, as a language learner, I I think, in my opinion, Thai language is really easy compared to other languages. Not because I am a native, but um because in Thai language the grammar is very simple. We just add every word that we want in the end of the sentence, and we don't have tense. We don't have uh gender. We don't have to convert any form. The word to any any form, and yeah, so so it's pretty simple, uh, use of sentence in Thai language, um, but still there are some of the items, some of the topics that still that I think if I am the language learner, it might be, uh, confused, I I might be so confused if I am the first learner of the language, so I just want to share you guys about all of that. And in each section, I will try to include uh, some use cases that uh, we use in daily communication and some quizzes. Uh, I will not pick up you guys and, and ask you guys to answer the, the, ans to an the answer the question, but I will just uh, I'll just uh, just let let uh, guess together in, in your head and I uh, and I will try to add uh, some tips and suggestions on the uh, in real life uses. Of the Thai sentence or phrase as well, and at the end of the presentation, we will have the Q and A session. Okay, so, uh, มาเริ่มเรียนกันเลยค่ะ Uh, um, just uh, just for the head up, I will write the Thai alphabet in the presentation, and uh, following with uh English pronunciation guideline below, and if you don't Know any of the if you're not sure the meaning or or the pronunciation of any of these words, you can just uh ask me at the Q and A session or uh, send me the message after the event is okay as well. So let's start. Okay, this is the question that I want that I want to ask to you guys. What is the hardest things in learning Thai? When I ask this question to my foreigner friend who's who learning Thai, uh, what I have heard from the people from the internet, uh, they will say that the most difficult thing in learning Thai is the tone, because we have like five tones, and each word will sound really similar. Each word with different tone will sound will sound similar for the foreigner. So it's it's pretty. Uh, difficult to to distinguish the tone, and but uh in today presentation I will not cover the topic because I think it's it's a commonly known <laughs> commonly known topic that is hard. But I I will try to try to add something in the Q and A session. But in the in the presentation I will I want to to talk and share you guys about uh uncommonly known topic or about other topics that that interesting as well. Okay. 
So let's start with the first one. We have Thai pronouns. So this is uh, how Thai pronouns look like. We have tons of pronouns uh, that we use. And so Thai, uh, you, as you may know, we are a Buddhism country and we are a high hierarchy society. So we respect people from different status, from like uh, higher status than us. We respect uh, older people. And in East, uh, for we have like pronoun for every person who, who is in, who, who for East status, for person in East status, like the monk, the king, or like elder people, older people, and the, Pronouns is can be used in like many situations and also um, depending on who you are talking with. So this is not all. This is just what I cut uh, from the commonly known word. I think in the Wikipedia list, they have allowed like 80 pronouns, 80 words that can be used in pronouns in, in Thai language. So it's, it's really much and Sometimes like the first learner might be a little bit confused on how to use which one or which one. To give you an example, um, we have the situation here. This is a specific uh, pronoun that we commonly use for a young couple. So we have um, the couple here, the boyfriend said, Tua eng yakin arai. Tua eng yakin arai. And the girlfriend answered, เขาอยากกินข้าวกระเพราหมูกรอบเขาอยากกินข้าวกระเพราหมูกรอบ So here okay some of you may know this เอ่อตัวเองตัวเอง uh, is mean myself oneself uh, for example อ่าฉันทําด้วยตัวเอง uh, is mean i did it by myself but in this case the guy said ตัวเอง to indicate the girlfriend, to call the to, to call the girlfriend as doing. So he used uh this words as a second person pronoun. So it means you. And also the girlfriend said how? How? She called herself how? Which normally how is the informal spelling or pronunciation of how. How which is mean he, she, they. So it is a uh, is a third person pronoun. But in this case, we use as a first person for now. So it's, it's a little bit weird. And Thai native also think this is a little bit weird as well. But because everyone is using it, so we keep using it and it's so cute. Yeah. And I have also, I also have the uh, example from the scene in the movie. This movie is a scene from, uh, this movie called Pimak. Pimak is a retelling ghost story of Thai of of Thailand, and I think it's about the 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 protagonist. The protagonist, the guy, he went to fought. He went to fight the war, and then he came back to his girlfriend. But his girlfriend already dead, and he didn't know that. And he continue continue living with her. So she is a ghost, and he 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 didn't know that, and. And in this scene, they use how and to in situation. So, uh, the I will write a transcription below. You can listen to it together. One more time. Yeah, so this is uh, uh, another use case of this uh, specific uh, pronouns. And okay, just for the quizzes, uh, let's guess. Uh, do you know these two? Um, is it the uh, these two just uh, got really popular recently in Thailand? So um, this one is the bear mascot from a bakery, the a bakery shop in Bangkok. We call her Butter Bear. 
and this one is Mudeng. Mudeng is the pygmy, the baby pygmy hippo. She she just born in July, and everyone is loving her. And yeah, she she broke the internet recently. So, do you know what Thai people usually call this cute animal or object? I I will just let you guess for like three seconds. Then song, song. The answer is no, no. So no here is me mean younger sister or younger brother. So even though it is for people, but we still use this for uh animal or cute object as well to to show the to express the fondness. Yeah, it is a, another use case and. For my suggestion to you, so I, I you might have like heard some of these pronouns before, and sometimes you might get like confused, like what to use in this situation. So my suggestion is that you don't have to remember all of these words. <laughs> I have picked you the most uh, neutral and natural word, and I think it's the safe word to use in when you come to Thailand or. Uh, when you talk to the native for the first time, and for the first person pronoun, if you want to call, uh, yourself, if you are men, you can use pom, pom in every situation. You will get through every situation with pom, and if you are lady, you can use your name. For example, my name is Pop. Uh, Pop you cow. Pop you cow. This means I'm hungry. Okay. And for the second pronoun, in the informal situation, you can use P or no. P is uh, elder brother or elder sister, and no is uh, younger brother or younger sister, as I said before. And P or no, and you can add the, if you know the person name, you can add that person name in the, at the end, after the word. For example, non pop, non pop. If you want to call me, no pop, it's okay. In informal situation, so um, the p no is like your family word, you see. But I think Thai culture is that we 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 love we like adding we like including stranger as our family. So we call every stranger with the family pronoun to 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 show the closeness to to them. So yeah, so you can use. Or no. uh, but if it's in business situation, you can use kun before that person name. Or if you don't know the person name, you can use just, just only kun. Kun is mean Mr. or Mrs. in English. Yeah. And for the third person pronoun, it's same as the second one. You can use just the same situation. Yeah. This is just more the safe word that I think you can use. And if you are an advanced learner and you want to like know specific a uh, specific word in any situation, you just can uh, ask me directly. I, I will check your, the, the, the word for you, okay? But this one, we will, you will get through every, every place in Thailand with this one, I, get, I think. Okay, for the second topic, we have design alphabet. I don't know many of you have learned the writing system for, in Thai as well. But if you if you learn the alphabet, you might probably see this um writing guideline chart before, and also this font is used commonly is commonly used for in 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 the textbook in Thai. So you see in Thai alphabet it's a little bit complicated because we have this circle. And you know, you, you have to remember, you, you kind of have to remember the position of the circle. This one is like at the top, this one is in the middle, this is in the bottom, right? And you also have to remember the length of the of the alphabet as well. This is, this is no this is like normal range, this is a little bit longer, you see? So it's a little bit difficult compared to like English alphabet. And and I think this is the one that you will see commonly in the textbook. But if you come to Thailand, it will get worse. So this is 
uh, example of what you saw in Thailand. So the, the font, the, the alphabet will completely different. You see, this one doesn't have circle anymore. And this one have circle and some word doesn't have circle. And this one have instead of circle, they have square instead. So it's, it's pretty, it might be a little bit difficult for the first le for the learner to, to distinguish what is what. So it's, it's difficult <laughs> to, to know. And a lot of my, my foreigner friends complain about it. And just for some quick quiz, uh, I have the movie poster here. This one is uh, a very, I think the one of the best movie in Thailand this year is called How to Make Million Before Grandma Die. Um, it's about the Chinese family and the grandma is uh, obviously dying and this this her grandson trying to take care of her, wishing that he will, he will, uh, wishing that she will give her him her money when she passed away. So, yeah, it's it's a it's a very really good story. It's a very really good story, and it will make you cry. And if you if you, I think it's on Netflix as well. If you want to check it out, but um, what I want to you to get things together is that can you try to list this Thai movie name? So this is the design alphabet because this is a Chinese Chinese family story. So the alphabet decide to to uh make it really close to Chinese alphabet. Okay, I'll just give you three seconds. One, two, three. So the answer is Lan Ma. Lan Ma. You see that we have like circle and here is not circle. And here we have circle, but here we, we have circle here. So it's 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 maybe difficult for the first learner. Lan ma, okay, lan, lan is niece or grandson, or granddaughter, and ma uh, is ma is shortened from ama. Ama is what Chinese family uh, is what Chinese people here call their grandmother. So it's like the grandson of so it meaning is the grandson of the grandmother. Yeah. And you can check it out if, if you want to. And for the tip for me in this situation, um if you not I, I think uh if you want to read the, the design alphabet first you have to establish the strong background for for the standard font first. So if you know if you know well about the standard one, then you may notice the and get familiar with the with the palette with the structure of the uh, of each character and it will make it it's easier for you to, to read the design one. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's just need you just need to practice the, the standard one. And I think if you practice enough it will be it will get easier. And also this the second one doesn't relate to the learning but um, please do not use Tahoma font when you want to write something to Thai people. And this is what Tahoma font look like when it's in Thai. So I think if you if your computer doesn't have doesn't have Thai Thai based font, it will automatically change to Tahoma if you type Thai language into your computer. And if you look like this, which I don't think Thai people use this font. We we think it's really old fashioned, and it's not it's not really a good design. And I don't know why, but many many overseas business when they come to Thailand, they will use this font in the the poster in in the product names as well. So we don't actually prefer this font. So Tahoma, just remember that if you want to buy something, Tahoma might okay, not okay. And but uh, you can try to use P H Taliban P S K. I think it's the the pretty standard one. This is okay for Thai people. Um, if you use uh, Mac OS or iOS, I think the standard is Tonbuli. This one is also okay as well. And it also depend on on the the media of of what will you like. 
uh, if you write something like this poster, you might have to take to do the research more for like more like design font in Thailand as well. But but this one is very pretty standard. You can use this too. Okay. The next one is uh, about the difference between conversation in the textbook versus in real life conversation. So if not actually the same when you speak and when it is in the textbooks. I have uh, the, the, the example here from the textbook. Um, I'm sorry, I, 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 have the, I don't have the English book with me, but this is a Japanese uh, Thai business conversation book that I have with me. I just cut one of the sentence here and change the subject. So I will read to you slowly. Uh, the guy, the guy. So the guy is talking to the girl. I will read the the guy part first. So, Kun Mu Deng, you may cup. One more time, Kun Mu Deng, you may cup. Okay, this is the textbook one, and for the the conversational one is Kun Mu Deng, you may cup. Kun Mu Deng, you may cup. So it's a little bit different. Um, um, because my club is, I would say we normally use it for the written text, and we don't actually say this much. We we can say this, but I think we usually use my my more than my my, yeah. It is more natural than my than than my. Yeah, this is the tone one as well. Yeah. But my cup is more natural. Another one is the the, the answer from the lady I will leave for you. Kun Mu Deng Gamlang Prashum Yu Mi Arai Hai Shui Mai Kap. One more time. Kun Mu Deng Gamlang Prashum Yu Mi Arai Hai Shui Mai Kap. This is the textbook version. And this is in real life conversation. So uh, you can see the blue one here. Sometimes we cut the sentence, cut the grammar to make it shorter. So gamlang. Gamlang is mean uh is the adverb to state the the to state that something is going on as happening at the moment Gamlang. you can cut it here like pashum yuka is also okay and we also like like in english we cut the subject as well you don't have you don't need to add the subject here and arai arai is question word for what what arai yeah the the green one arai you can also use like like in the conversational one right for for the conversational, uh, is sometimes we use just like, and uh, my cut and my cut is all the, the same as the second as the the previous one. My cut is more common when speaking. So you see, we don't speak like what is it in textbooks, and sometimes we shorten our sentence as well. I have the use cases for you. This is my actual text from my friends. Um, take, I, I just like making an appointment to meet my friend at the train station here. I will not go on all of it. Uh, just the, the important one. For example, here we have uh, the yellow one is the original form or uh, the grammar form that you will see in the textbook. And this, the font, um, the the left one is uh, what I use, what I actually use in my text or in my conversation. So we have lao, lao. Usually lao is the adverb we put at the end of the the sentence to indicate that the action is already done, already complete. So it's like it's like the past 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 tense in Thai. So Normally we say lao lao, but in this but in conversation we can say la la. For example, my friend said, "Uh, ถึงสีลมคอม la." 
ถึงสีลมคอมละสีลมคอม is the the place the สีลมคอมเพล็กซ์ and ถึง is mean alive so she said that she already alive at the สีลมคอมเพล็กซ์ so ถึงละ already alive in the textbook is maybe ถึงแล้วถึงแล้ว so it's a little bit different from 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 the the actual grammar and we also use dialect as well so บอกบอก if you know like Laos as well or uh, the northern the north eastern part of Thailand we use บอก to say ไม่ไม่ which mean no or negative word of the sentence so you see normally I don't use the I am from Bangkok so I normally doesn't use dialect in my in my no no in my in my conversation but sometimes sometimes we use บอก to in the conversation As well, and we also have cha cha at the end of the sentence. So you might have learned ใช่ไหม or ใช่หรือเปล่า This one ใช่ไหมใช่หรือเปล่า at the end of the sentence to indicate uh to ex when you want to express uh the confirmation like isn't it or right is it right yeah. Too long for for hours for our conversation. So sometimes we shorten it from ใช่ไหมใช่หรือเปล่า to ใช่ใช่ or ใช่ไหมใช่ไหมใช่ไหม Sometimes we use something like this, and yeah, it it's a completely different from the textbook. And this is another use case that from a uh, Thai drama. So let's guess what the lady the the lady asked her boyfriend at the end. Okay. Bye, Bye. 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 มากินข้าวกันไหมมันเปียลิทเบิดดิฟิคอลฟอร์ดเดอะบิกินเนอร์เฮียวันมอสามเลิกเวตอนสองทุ่มอ่ะมากินข้าวกันไหม so she say มาแล้วขึ้นเวแล้วมากินข้าวกันมะมากินข้าวกันมะ with uh, usually we uh, you might have learned มากินข้าวกันไหมมากินข้าวกันไหม yeah but in 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 the daily communication you can say มากินข้าวกันมะ as well yeah and uh the last topic is pretty close to the previous one big but this time we change the word and sound to make it more softer I have an example from the I Instagram post of the Thai actress. Thai actress. Uh, her name is Tai j a l i n p o n and you can check her out. She's really cute, really cute girl. Okay, she go. She went to trekking, and she said that trekking one r a k e u p t u i one r a k e u p t u i So, t u i this word. Uh, This word t u i it doesn't have in Thai dictionary. We normally, if not the the normal usual word. Do you know what it come from? If you are an advanced learner, you might have you might know the original of the word. So the the original of the t u i is tai, tai, which means dead. So she she say that. One that is the first day. g o o p is almost. So she say, uh, the first day of her trekking, she almost died. But in this case, because it, she doesn't because it doesn't like the dead dead situation. She just want to make it more less serious. And when when you when Thai people want to make something not serious, we will use like cute word instead. So this word we use this time we use t u i 
Tui. I I love this word. I I like I use this like almost every day. <laughs> Tui instead of Thai. Thai. Okay, so it's it's a little bit difficult for for the first learner. Yeah, it yeah. You don't have to remember all of this, but if you if you happen to to see this in in the like social media or something, I just try to I try to guess the original of the word and, and it's, it might be big if if you cannot see the this in dictionary, it might be because we want to make it cuter. And another use case is from my text again. I I also making appointment with my friends again this Saturday. So um we have Chai. Chai. Do you know Chai? Chai is mean yes. Mean right in Thai. Chai. The the yellow one is the original form of the word. But in my in the text, my friend said Chai. Chai. So do you see that Chai? Chai is the original, right? But Chai, Chai is more softer. So when, when you want to make it softer in the conversation, you can say Chai, Chai. Sometimes we say something like this. Obviously in, in, the, converse, converse, uh, in the informal con conversation. And we also have C. C. C is the, I think it's the particle that we add in, at the end of the sentence to indicate that, to, to emphasize, emphasize your request. So I think, uh, I said that, can you take me to this place? But I didn't want to, I didn't want to like request, request, like you don't have to take me to the place, but I, I didn't want to emphasize that much. So I use C, C to make it less serious. Normally we use, พาไปหาพระแม่หน่อยสิเอ้ยหน่อยสิสอรี่สอรี่วันมอทามพาไปหาพระแม่หน่อยสิบัตเวนไอเซพาไปหาพระแม่หน่อยสิอีสมอคิ
and we also have the the uh, which is the emphasis of the conversation or request that I uh, said earlier. Earlier, I use d to to make it cute, but you and uh, you also can use d d to make it cute as well. Yeah, that's it. It's it's a little bit difficult for for the first learner to when when they hear Thai people actually say, saying in a conversation for the first time is it might be pretty messed up like this. But my uh, suggestion though is that okay, you I um to be honest, I stand by using the complex use of words and grammar and sentence. So if you are a first language, if you are a language learner, please first use the like use the collect form, use collect grammar of or what you have saw in the book. Just prioritize the collect use of words first. And if you are more familiar or you are more confident or more comfortable with the with Thai language, you can try adapt a little bit of the all those those. You can may change. You can try changing the end of the sentence, changing the sound, like from uh chai to chai in the conversation. You can you can try changing try changing it a little bit, but please consider the situation when you want to use it. Uh, because all of this or uh, all the all the thing that I show you is for informal conversation, and obviously you cannot use it every person you, you have to consider who you are talking to as well so please consider the situation that you will use this word and if you want to know like in which situation you can use this word or uh, which word that I, I have to use i think that the best way to to learn the new words so, because we you know the slang we keep inventing the new words every every day it will be a new word every day. So I think if you want to to learn new words, new slang, you can uh try um listening or watching Thai movie, watching like how the native people actually use and try to mimicking on how they use first. And then you will get like you just input or uh, the the actual Thai usage, the actual Thai native usage first and then you 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 have you uh have to try to mimicking or using the same words at the native at the at first, and you will be more like natural in using Thai. I think yeah. So that is what I wanted to say today. What I want to share today is might be a little bit difficult, but um, if you want if you want to learn more about Thai, I think uh you can check out this. A movie or drama to to learn how the the native talk. Uh, for the beginner, this is the this is a story, the love story about the girl having crush on the sky train engineer, and the conversation is pretty pretty um simple and and it's really close to how how we talk in daily communication as well. So you can check this one out. And this one I recommend earlier. Uh it's comedy, so it includes slang and curse words in or jokes as well. If you are an intermediate person, you can check this one out as well. And and this is for S1 person, it's a silly that um a charm tower silly. So it's the you can see the comparison between old language and new modern language. So this is also a great thought as well. And for my summary, um, I didn't show all of this to you to make that to, to say that Thai is difficult or hard or really hard for the le the learner. What I want to say to you is that please do not be afraid to making mistake when you're speaking Thai because we as a native we don't we don't care at all. We myself ourselves also use style Thai language also use like weird words, weird inventing words as well. So please, please do not afraid to make a mistake and try uh, speaking to the native Thai, finding an opportunity to talk to the native as well. And if you come to the Thailand, you know, one thing that I know about Thai people is that we love when 
there are foreigners trying to speak our language, our language to us. Like we we will like part you, love you really much, in 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 uh adore you. I would say when you talk Thai to us, yeah. So yeah, this is my point of the presentation, and I think we will leave we leave the Q and A session now. I will pass it back to Dennis. Thank you very much.